All right, people. We're going to do this now. We're going to bring a... Fight the mustache girl! Welcome back to Heart and Time. This is going to be the finale. So if this ends up being a long video, then that's kind of the reason why. We already come up here a bit early, but we have to press switches to unlock uh, that cage. That was fucking clunky as fuck and unnecessary. <laughs> But this is what you anyway. Wow, so you essentially have to use three of your hats to even get in here. The finale. Look at what's happened to Mafia Town. Start a boss. Act bottom one. The act one, here. the finale. There's only this one bloody act. Yeah, Mustache Girl took all your time pieces and it's completely changed the world and made her like a dictator. Tater. So let's bring the fight down now. <laughs> and you can choose to talk to people, but that's really what I waste time. Everyone here, everyone you've met in the game are here. Uh... Pretty much everyone has a ticket to an appointment. And now, they're all essentially saying, we'll let you cut the line so you can teach this bitch a lesson. So now you have to go up and confront her yourself. And plus, she did take- Unnecessary three hearts. You just got there. Technically, she did take all your time pieces. You've got, so you've kind of got a reason to be here. Oh. You can't fucking dive. Da, da, da. So this is your last level. You have to go through a giant freaking gauntlet before you even get to. So yeah, if you have a, if you have an appointment. What's wrong? Oh, bag. Okay. So I was on my phone there. Yeah. She, yeah, she sends out tickets for an appointment for people. So really, if you have an appointment to be here, you have to go through this gauntlet to even get there. You got the the garb stomp. Yeah, Rusty, 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 you know, Look at those fancy statues! Oh, I learned something by the way. See, see the Heal the Deal DLC? Mm. You can actually get one of the, you know those art books you get in the time rush? You have an art book from that, from that chapter. And that, and that actually get, bye. And that actually gives you a backstory about Mustache Girl. Aye. Aye, and why she's like this, you? Because she's an asshole. Well, she's just a young innocent kid. Still with a moustache though. And she's with, I think, her father? Or just like a, a, her carer or something? Shite. Or her carer? Yes. The Mafia come to the town. And her being an innocent kid wants to like be friends with them. Shove her away take over and she tries her best to fight back but they just knock her away so essentially she's had a grudge against the mafia because essentially they took oh well every fucking time ah we're we'll cutting back to this point and we're I, back I, I, I got fucked you'll be able to watch that you'll see me get stuck in the fucking pipe and I, I felt as if I soft locked the whole fucking game but it's all good I mean we're back at least so I can finish, 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 finish my story so you kind of know why she's got a grudge against the, maf the, maf the mafia and basically when you watch that you just think to yourself you start to f you actually kind of start to feel bad for Mustache Girl and she's got a good reason for doing all this shit. She doesn't need to be a fucking dictator about it though. At some point I'll find the video that somebody had of it and I'll send it to you. Look at that nice little bit of lava landing in. 
I want to save that because in that location you've got cunt to steal your mask. So I actually can just get lucky <laughs> with that. Oh, thank you. Bye, Ocean. And an owl. Go away! Owl! I can't get my Facebook notifications here. Go away! Can you not leave me be? Oh, Mafia. Lucky guy! I got lucky. Did you really get lucky? You took it for a coupon? You didn't you see that fuck was in the mask, or why you said to be fucked? I'm gonna really fucking. STOP die. DYING! Wait, did you even pick up that heart point after that owl threw a book at you? He Facebooked you? I cannot see these by the hook you. Don't do that. You got a couple of hearts up here though. We'll lose the next one. You're playing a you're, you're playing a reckless game boy. And not a reckless game boy. I'm calling you boy. I ain't sure. A fresh. <laughs> Fuck deck! <laughs> That's the greatest thing ever. Here we are. Oh, I didn't punch old man for like two days straight that one time. Oh wow! What a touching story. Just kidding. Bad guy next. <laughs> I said next. Oh, it's you. You've been kind of a selfish little pest, but uh, you haven't actually stood in my way. You get to go on. You're a good guy, uh, I guess. Go on! You get to live! Next! Me. That smile. <laughs> it wasn't me. Don't you dare get anywhere near me. I don't think you quite understand who's in charge, little missy. You know, I was willing to forgive you. I once thought we were going to be best buds. But nope, you turned out to be rotten and selfish. Save the planet from bad guys. Psh, who needs that, am I right? Look at all I've done without you. I've restored justice. I am the justice. No more bad guys. Ever. I don't need you. This planet doesn't need you. Nobody will miss you, and nobody will care. You are the bad guy, and I'll show you how this justice system deals with bad guys. And now we got a boss battle! Can you break this fight with a time hatter? Oh my god, I never thought I'd use a time hatter. Don't break my hourglasses! You know, for the record, she's clearly she's clearly got a throne made of more than 40. She wish she got it. You can only get one hit on her. She can get lost! Mustached girl is not welcome here. Mafia say get lost. That's right, get lost. No one wants you here. And that right, big lad. This alternate reality stinks. Get lost. How can you 
stand behind these people. They're crooks, criminals, and you're... You're helping them! This ends now! In case you thought that was the fight, this is the fight! This is where the shit hits the fan. You see that fan right there? I'm chucking every ounce of shit at it and it's coming right back at it. That's how much shit is hitting that fan right now. We are practically brown right now. Look at this shit! To be honest, if you can actually cheese this with a time hat, I'm going to be so fucking mad. Is this the first time you use the time hat? Or is it job you use it? No, I always use it. Oh, is that how you beat her then? Because I struggled beating her, but I don't think I died. Wow. You're making her your bitch! At least tell me on the last phase of the fight, you do it legit. You'll do it legit. Huh. Well, ish. <laughs> if you think about it. Oh, she kind of got, got you with that one. Oh, she's over there! Oh god, she kind of tricked you there! She tricked you there! She's kind of played smart now. She's played it smart, played it smart now. You had kids can't even hit evil mustache girl. We have to help! You got it, lad. Let's give her something she can jab at that little red nuisance so she'll get lost! Let's roll! <laughs> little girl! Give us a shove right into that red lass's ugly mug! Yeah, I think the game, I don't think the game was intending you to use the time hat because you're supposed to use that to like stun her. Oh well, use that to damage her because if you get close to her she'll teleport away from you. So you're supposed to like use that to hit her. The game did not envision you using the time hat I'm guessing. Okay, now you can hit her. But this fight is intense though. That's a still want contract at this bitch. So a bomb, you need to hit away a bomb because she's got a shield now, you need to bomb her. It doesn't take the shield down, but it actually well it does actually. But I think she takes damage for it as well. Okay, she's back in the shield. Sierra, Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta. Uh poo boo. We got to fly for the right to make her get lost. Fucking dick hole. Oh wow, shield broke still. I don't think you can actually hit her multiple times. Yet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you can actually hit her multiple times at once. Yeah, we could. We could though. And you hit her again. Nice. Nice. She's eliminate the outside helper. Oh, when Mafia explode, Mafia drop pawns. This gives Mafia an idea. Little Hat Girl need help to turn back time. If Mafia explode, Little Hat Girl get useful pawns. Mafia has to explode to save world! What? Plan is crazy! Hello Mafia, no worry. If little girl succeed, Mafia come back when time rewinds. Now, punch me with all your might, fellow Mafia! No hesitation! Red Hooded Girl, get, get lost! lost! Hat Girl, here, take these! <laughs> Those mafia lads, so foolishly brave, but hey, 
What's the point of living if I ain't got me train anyway? All right, DJ Grooves. The two of us are gonna help this little hot lass. Get this angry red lass needs to get lost! Now we have the penultimate part of the fight. Essentially, you can do what you want now, because even if you take damage, you're just going to keep getting heart pods constantly, constantly, constantly. So you can just be reckless as all hell right now. Look at that. You took damage, health restored. You took damage, health restored. They're just constantly, they're just constantly killing each other to give you health. You essentially need to fucking kill your heart thing. Yeah, because she's moving super fucking faster. You know, I was expecting a hat kid to get like a super fucking short, super short, super short at transformation, but no, it's not really a transformation, it's just a. You're, get, you're, you're essentially getting an unlimited health. Though. But this is the most intense part of the fight. Wow, she went for a fucking dive at flying kick there! Done! Yeah, all that became 40. Or 20. F or 25, considering she, t considering she needs 25 to do this level. Hat kid has finally succeeded in getting all her shit. That is the last time piece. Ah, we rewinded time! The planet is shaved. Drop a timepiece down and lend the Red Hood girl some timepiece power to help defeat the Mafia. You may not be able to make it all the way home.
And with that, a hat and time is done. Now, you don't get anything special for a 100% ending, so we wanted to try yeah. throwing a timepiece down to see if we got something different, and we still got nothing, so really, threw, nothing happens. I only threw a timepiece down because I was like, because when I've when I done it, I was like, the first time, I didn't throw a timepiece. I was like, I wonder what happens if I, if I got all the timepieces. Battled for my boss, then chose not to throw it. If I got it home, still nothing happened, so it's really disappointing. So I thought maybe if I threw something down, you see it going down, I wasn't sure if it maybe it landed out hard and you see her kind of look at it and be like, and smile up kind of thing. But it's something nice like yeah, that. Yeah, I thought so. We might have got shot, but we didn't really get anything. And I'm disappointed at that. Apart from that though, the game itself is good. There's nothing wrong with this game uh, at all. So since it's finally done, final thoughts on the project. And since you were the one playing, you can start us off with. I really enjoyed the game. It's, it's one of those platforming, calm kind of games. It's not one that's going to be like, for fuck's sake, what the fuck am I doing with this shit? Most of the problems to me fall, that was just me being a reckless cunt. But overall, as a good game, I would like to see, obviously, this new shit come to PS4, or just if they make it a hat in time to. Or, a, or just a new game, somewhat similar. What about you? Yeah, Hat and Time is a fun game. I never knew about it until I saw NCS playing it. But I just glanced over it. Then I seen it on the play I seen it on the PlayStation store and then I'm like that looks familiar. And so I, and I thought, oh that's that's the game that Tim was that's the game that Tim was playing. So I got it, played it, it was fun. Honestly, I like ukulele. Mm -hmm. This is also fun as well. Ukulele probably would have been better if it played like this. But ukulele, in a real, in a way, does play like Banjo Kazooie. That it's got open world area. But I think Hat and Time kind of done it better. Hat and Time, I feel like, plays a bit like Mario 64. Mm -hmm. Where you, you go to your area and you get different level action. Well, actually, not 64. I'd say more Sunshine. In 64 you can technically get like any kind of star in any order, but in Sunshine you do have chapters you. And the levels are kind of different based Odyssey. on the chapter. Which policy then? Because you can get whatever you want to get. Now I would say Sunshine because Sunshine, because with this you, whatever actually went into, the level changed based on the actor. Same with Sunshine. 64 and Odyssey, because it's open, they don't have much of a change to it. But I had in time, I like this game. It's good. Fun game. And this year, look at all our dolls. <laughs> the end. I would love it. If, I would love it if the Shield the Deal DLC came to PS4. Mm -hmm. If it does, we might come back to this game and show it off. But until then, we will see you next time for our next Let's Play, which I will not reveal, but it is in the process of being made. So that was a hard time. From me, Man of Man Twenty Four. From myself, Lumber Gaming, aka Tim. This was a hard time. See you next time, and we will see you next time. That made no sense. Bye bye.